Okay guys, so I recently discovered this amazing tool called the AI Assistant for WordPress by Tenweb that can help you produce high quality content in just a few minutes. And that content will also be optimized for SEO. And this tool is perfect for WordPress website owners, content writers, blog owners, SEO specialists, and obviously web agencies as well. With the AI Assistant, you can write SEO optimized content 10 times faster in both Gutenberg and classic editors. And it will even fix SEO and readability issues for you. Imagine being able to write and improve your website content in minutes without sacrificing quality. I'm telling you, this AI assistant is a game changer. Let me show you. And there it is, guys. You can see AI Assistant for WordPress, and this is by 10Web. So again, 10Web, they have loads of services now. They have the AI Builder, AI Assistant, and obviously they also provide hosting and the PageSpeed Booster, which we covered uh, extensively on our channel already. So feel free to go and have a look at the rest of the other videos. We created a playlist anyways. And as you can see here with the animation, you can create content very easily in WordPress using Gutenberg or the classic editor. And we have three bullet points here. So basically it will generate SEO optimized content with AI. It will also fix SEO and readability errors in Yoast SEO, and it will rank higher with SEO optimized content. So all together, this is an amazing feature, isn't it? So if you want to get started, all you have to do is click on either of those buttons here. So let's click on this one and then you can basically sign up. Okay, so I already have an account, so I'm just gonna log in and this is gonna bring you to your main dashboard. So if you have a few websites that are being optimized with the PageSpeed Booster, they will show up here, you know? But right here on top, as you can see, we have a new tab. This, this is the AI Assistant dashboard. So you have to click on this. It's a different dashboard altogether. And now we can install the plugin on our WordPress website. So let's do that together. So for this, all we have to do is to download the plugin, save this on our hard drive, very good. And then we can go to our WordPress dashboard and then install it. Okay, so we go to plugins, add new, upload plugin, choose file. So I'm going to select this one. We just download it, open, install now. There you go. And then activate plugin. And right here now we have an extra tab. So we have to click on this and now we have to link this. We have to sign up basically and connect. So let's click sign up and connect. And normally, if you're already logged in in another tab, it will log in automatically. There you go. As you can see, now it is active. And if we scroll down, you can see we have a green tick mark next to Gutenberg, a green tick mark next to Classic Editor. But we have a red cross next to SEO Pack. So that means that we need to install the SEO Pack. So we're going to install Yoast SEO. And this is going to help us to create SEO optimized content as well. Okay. So let's click on Download and Activate. There you go, so that's done. As you can see, that's done for us automatically uh, without hassle, and now we're all ready to go. So if we head back to the plugin section now, you will see we have an additional one, this one here, AI Assistant by 10Web. So we still need to install Yoast SEO ourselves, okay? So let's click on Add New. So if you don't have it, uh, you have to install it manually, and perhaps you already have it, in which case, uh, leave it as is, obviously, you know? So let's install this together, and then activate. And there you go. So from here, you can go through all the steps, whichever you want. Like, you know, I'm just going to skip for now. So we can close those two messages here. That's basically it. So let's create our first blog post together. Okay. So we go to post. Okay. So let's create a new blog post together. So let's click add new. And the first thing to do is to add the title. So let's say we're going to create a blog post about how to create a WordPress website on cPanel. Okay. So now if we go on top, as you can see, we have a TED Web AI button here, but everything is grayed out. And the reason why is because we have to select the content of our title. And now 10 Web AI can create content from this. Okay. And as you can see, we have a few different options here. We can generate an outline, an introduction. Uh, create a paragraph, a conclusion, or paraphrase a paragraph. So with all these five different options here, we can literally create any type of blog post or page content or whatever you want really, okay? So let's start with the first step here. Let's create an outline first, okay? So let's click on this. So there you go. As you, as you can see, it's adding all the different subheading basically. So first step is to install WordPress, create a database, configure the domain, and then we have installed a theme and finally customize the website. And these are the exact steps uh, required to actually create a WordPress website on cPanel. Now let's uh, select our title again, and this time we'll create an introduction. Okay, so let's click on this. 
And there you go. Now that's been added between the title and our outline. Okay, so exactly the way it should be. And if you read this, it reads very nicely. You know, creating a website with WordPress is easier than ever with the help of cPanel, da 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 da. So this is actually readable from a human standpoint as well. And now we can do the same with our outline. So if you select any of those subheadings, you can go on top and then generate an introduction or a paragraph, etc., etc. So let's go ahead. Let's say we're going to create a paragraph out of this. So there you go, as you can see, this is writing our paragraph and again, effortlessly, just one click of the mouse, you know, it just takes a few seconds and then we can repeat the same with all the different subheadings here. And there you go, guys, as you can see now, I've quickly created all these different paragraphs related to each subheading. So this is basically how you can create a full article and then you can create, obviously, a conclusion paragraph and this can be added anywhere on your page. So it could be a concluding paragraph for the whole blog post or for each one of those sections here. This is really up to you. Now, one more option I'd like to show you here is the paraphrase a paragraph. So let's say you're writing a blog post about how to clean your driveway and get rid of moss. And then you found a very nice article that covers all of that. Obviously, you don't want to be done for copywriting or anything like this. So what you can do is basically select the text and paraphrase it, okay? So let's say you found this article here and the, the opening statement here is exactly what you're looking for. So what you can do is basically copy this, you go back here and then you create your own section Paste it here, okay, control V. And now if you select all of this, you can go back here and then paraphrase the paragraph. And it's gonna write the exact same article, the same paragraph using different words basically, okay? But that's not it. Now let me show you how the 10 Web AI can help you as well, combined with Yoast SEO to optimize your page to get found. So if we scroll down the page, as you can see, we have generate with 10 Web AI. So if you hover on top, as you can see, we are missing the focus key phrase. So the first thing we need to do is to basically add the focus key phrase. And for this, you could reuse your title, for instance. OK, so control V. So how to create a WordPress website on cPanel. Now, if you scroll down, now we can generate all the content for us. So let's click on this. And as you can see now, it is writing the title for us, the meta description. So that's it. That's done. So it has to be a certain length as well. So now we have our meta description, our slug, and also our title. And this is how anyone searching for it would sit on Google, basically. OK, now if you scroll down the page, as you can see, the SEO analysis is still orange. So this is not optimized. And now if you expand this section, you will find the issues here. And again, 10 Web AI can help us fix those. So the SEO title width is too long and the key phrase in the SEO title is not relevant either. So what we can do basically is to click on those buttons to fix those issues. So let's fix the first one together. And as you can see, it's going to rewrite the title for us in a shorter manner. There you go. That's all done already. Now it's all green. And now we could fix the second one as well. So this is the key phrase in SEO title. So let's click on this. And now he's going to write the title in a short manner using keywords. There you go. All done already. And now clearly this is going to work not just for posts, but also for pages. So if you were to create a new page, add a new page, and now you can use the 10 Web AI with your pages as well and optimize them for SEO purposes. But this will also work for your WooCommerce products. So if you were to create a new product, you can also use 10 Web AI to create the content of your description. And as always, you can also optimize your page for SEO purposes. So there you go, guys. This is how you can easily create new blog posts, pages, and also content for your product section. And you can also optimize all of this using the AI Assistant. Now, if you'd like to know more about 10Web because they offer more services than this, you can go and watch this full review.